Yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah. 
fire. We are the temple. You are the voice. We are your song. You are our God. We are your people. You are the light. We stand in awe. We stand in awe of you. We stand.
mountain I've Everyone, we want to, um, on behalf of Aaron I'm and the that's the best sound. I'm not here to have the best place in here to worship God. So I'm glad you could come and join us. We're going to go with what we have today, and we'll see what happens. So first off, I want you to get out your phone. If you got your phone, uh, open up the Google, Bing, what was the other one? The Fire Foxilla, whatever you use. And I'm going to tell you a title of a song, so you guys can look it up. And you can wait. Have what's wait, happening um, right now? Are you playing something? I don't know. Hold on, everyone. Sorry. I'm Did the video keep playing on YouTube? Did you pause the YouTube video? Did it go play next? I don't know. Somebody help me. What is the YouTube? Sorry, everyone. OK, sorry. OK, hold on. OK, sorry, everyone. So as you all can see, this is new, this is new territory. What we're doing right now, this celebration of life where we're coming together and we are being together um, to celebrate Michelle's life. It's new for us in this Zoom world and we really ask for your help and your patience as we make lots of mistakes. Ultimately though, we are here to be about love and about being together during this time. We have a couple of announcements we wanna make and um, for those of you who are new to Zoom, if you want to be able to see as many people as possible at one time in the top right hand corner of your Zoom screen, you can click on a button and the button will be a speaker or gallery view. Speaker view will allow you to see just the person who is primarily speaking and gallery view will allow you to see many people at one time. Choose throughout the throughout this um, time together, flip back and forth to see whichever one will work for you. The other thing is that when we do a, sh a share screen of a video that we want to share, 
you can, if you wish, shrink the share screen smaller so that you can still see participants or go vice versa. The way that you shrink the screen share down is you hover between the share screen and your participants and there'll, uh, there'll be these three little um, um, vertical lines click on that and then just drag over and that'll make your participants larger so you can see more participants or you can go the other way to see your share screen um the share screen bigger right now if your name is not displayed as you if it says something like um iphone we ask that you um change the change your name so that we know how who you are and the way to change your name so it doesn't say like iphone is you click on your picture you'll see three little dots and then if you scroll down it's it'll say rename and then please rename yourself it's so that we can um know who you are also if you're if you are not sharing your screen right if you are not sharing your video right now we encourage you to share your video because this so that we can see your faces um, together we represent all of the people who love Michelle and who love Aaron and the boys and we can take comfort in seeing one another so again if you are with your screen off we if you're in a place where you can turn your screen on turn your screen on so that we can enjoy one another the other thing is that we chat is open and available. Feel free to um, join in the chat to contribute anything that you think will enhance their experience together. And um, the chat is here for all of us to enjoy. Remember, though, that as you um, chat, it's not private. We're all looking at we're all reading it. So think about that. And then also um, let's keep the conversations focused what's happening to today as opposed to hey, brother, what's happening later on tomorrow no no let's not do those kinds of stuff okay let's just stay right here with um michelle with michelle and aaron um if you run into technical challenges along the way we have um two technical support people um available um christine jones gary can you type this in or christine or kelsey um will you guys um uh, let me get you guys you cannot move a video while people are pinned. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Christine and um, um, Kel Christine Jones and Kelsey Maganeris, my daughter, both of them can offer technical support. If you uh, chat them privately, they can um, answer whatever questions that you have. Kelsey's boyfriend, Emerson, actually works for Zoom, so he's a Zoom uh, expert. I think those are all of the things that I wanted to say before we got get started. Um, Pastor Earl, we are going to turn this now over to you. Thank you so much, every one of you, for uh, tuning in and engaging and, and celebrating. Michelle's uh, life and uh, we want to say thank you first to Robin. Thank you so much, Robin, for um, just all your work in making this happen, Robin. And uh, yeah, yes, I know it's not about you, but you know, I mean, we were watching in, in this room, um, the slideshow, and I would invite you to stick around after uh, the service to watch it because um, many of you are in the slideshow and uh, Michelle meant so much to so many of us. She lived life to the fullest and, and, and her life uh, touched so many of us. That's why in, our, in this room, it just we're all just teary eyed because, you know, we won't have her for, for this side of heaven. And, you know, we all know because many of us have faith in God that she is with her heavenly father now. No more, no more pain, no more suffering. And, um, you know, she's whole again. But we on this side of heaven just hurt so much because we don't have her physically here. We don't have her to, to have and to hold, to enjoy those moments uh, with her. And so if you're here with somebody in your room, in, in your house, you can just hold on to, can you just do that right now? Because we need each other right now. We need each other right now because uh, we are hurting. We're grieving her loss. And that's why right now, um, God, we ask for your comforting presence right now to comfort us in our loss Look, we don't, we're not going to understand why you took Michelle so early. One day when we meet you face to face, we will understand. But until then, Lord, 
may you comfort us now and give us hope to know that one day we'll see her face to face. And God, we don't know when our time will be as well. And so those that are with us right now, we don't want to take them for granted. These are our loved ones. And every day is a gift that we have. May we enjoy our loved ones well. And so God, right now, we ask that you would help us celebrate her life well. Lord, we welcome your presence, your company presence right now. And, and also, we want to give you thanks. We give you thanks that our lives are so much richer, so much blessed because Michelle was a part of our lives. So right now, we welcome your presence, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. And may we celebrate well, a life well lived. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And um, Michelle and Aaron want to minister to you right now. So watch this. <laughs> that was my little brother, Royden. We're unclear why he was pinned, but we're back to with our family. Um, um, Pastor, uh, Pastor Earl, do you want to introduce Pat? Yeah, certainly want to introduce Pat, but you know, I think it would be the Michelle's desire. That is, is she was dancing to I give you your heart. If anyone of you is here and you want to give your heart to Jesus, give your heart to Jesus because you'll know that you'll have assurance in your heart that one day you'll be in heaven just like Michelle is. Give your heart and act like Aaron as well. And right now, I want to segue and introduce some, really, it's, it's um, like Michelle's brother. And I want to introduce to you Pat as he shares um, just his fond words and his heart about his sister, Michelle. Pat. Thank you, Pastor Earl. How do you hear me? You guys can hear me? All right. All right, good afternoon, everyone. 
for any of you that are Black Friday shoppers, you know that <laughs> you know that we have lost one of the all-time greatest. Michelle would prep like a professional athlete. She would have a master game plan that started with lots of research, both in newspapers and online. She would put out, uh, map out the locations, put on her most comfortable uniform, grab some caffeine, and attack at full speed. Her most trusted teammate, of course, was her sister-in-law, Colleen. And sometimes she would even recruit her son, Noah, to help with the heavy lifting. And the end result was always incredible savings, securing those hard to get gifts at rock bottom prices, and a satisfaction that she was victorious in the Super Bowl of retail. I'd often wonder why anyone would wanna go 36 hours without sleep, fighting for parking in the middle of the night and dealing with the crazy crowds, but she did it every year. And I realized it was never really about her. It was about the ones she loved most. It would be about school clothes for the boys, a pair of cleats for the new baseball season, a new TV for a family member, or gifts to send out to her nieces and nephews on the mainland. And that snapshot really gives you an insight of what made Michelle happy and so special. She always put others first. Michelle was born in Seoul, South Korea. At a young age, she came to the US with her dad, her brother, and her mom, who is my mom's sister, and they live with my family. Our house had a revolving door as more and more of my mother's family would move to the US and would stay with us for weeks or months as they settled in. Michelle's brother was 20 years older and working. So Michelle and I grew up more like brother and sister. We lived together for many years and my best friends adopted her as my little sister too. Before I share a few more things about Michelle, I would like to thank Dr. Robin Pang Maganeris, also known as Dr. Auntie Robin. She came in from San Francisco and put this Zoom meeting together. And I would like to thank all of you for sharing part of your day to be here with Michelle, Aaron, Noah, and Luke. Michelle's greatest love was Aaron and the boys, but she did have a life before them as well. She got a taste for travel at a young age as she would join us for numerous trips to the mainland. We would go to small towns in Arkansas and Missouri, and of course hit popular spots like DC, Chicago, Colorado, and Disneyland. She was a cheerleader at McKinley High School and part of the Wee Beds, a close group of friends that most of us have got to know better over the last few months. She worked in numerous jobs and for a long time with attorney Uncle Louie. Michelle spent many years working for the state in the court system and enjoyed her time with Delta Airlines as a gate agent. While the job could be challenging at times, it gave her the freedom to travel the world, which her and the boys took advantage of. Michelle's greatest love was, I'm sorry, but one night many years ago, her life changed when she met the actor Keanu Reeves. She was in Pearl City at the rec center in Pacific Palisades to be exact, learning a new martial art. Keanu was one of the instructors and Michelle was having some challenges with a few of the moves. So Keanu, the instructor, offered his help. Aaron, of course, was Michelle's Keanu. She swore he looked just like him. And after that, Aaron continued to make Michelle happy with his kindness, generosity, love of people, outgoing personality, and big heart. They married, bought a house, and practiced watching kids with numerous nieces and nephews, including our three daughters. They loved their dogs and eventually decided to have kids of their own. Noah and Luke would become their pride and joy. Noah's in high school and learning 
almost learning how to drive, and Luke is in middle school. They are both active in multiple sports and share the love of the ocean, just like their dad. Aaron and Michelle got a golden doodle named Koa earlier this year. I'm sure Michelle is very happy to see how he is maturing into a great family dog and has become a good running partner for Aaron. And in typical Michelle fashion, while she got the dog to make her happy, Koa has been a happy, furry reminder that we can hug and squeeze whenever we miss Michelle. When I ask people how to describe Michelle, I hear a lot of the same words, caring, outgoing, and compassionate. Most of you know that at any event or any party, there's always someone behind the scenes keeping things together. It could be cooking more food, topping off someone's beer, talking to someone new to the group to make them feel welcome, or staying up late to wash the dishes. That was Michelle. She might not always have the most to offer, but she always offered the most of what she had. She was smart, prepared, determined, and confident. This new life we live in, wearing masks and sanitizing everything, was nothing new to her. Before it was popular, she carried sanitizer. She'd wipe the tray tables on the airplanes, bought the best kitchen and laundry soaps, and the best, and the best things to fight germs to keep her family safe. She was creative and generous. Raising two boys, or sometimes as she would say, raising three boys, had its moments. She would tell Aaron that she needed to leave and she'd fly off to Japan. But it wasn't for a week long spa vacation. Many times it would be for a few days. She'd enjoy flying in first class, do some shopping and return rejuvenated. One of the recent texts she sent me was, got back from Nagoya yesterday, went grocery shopping in a plenty of ono sashimi. And in typical Michelle fashion, she would bring back suitcases full of goodies, not for her, but for friends and family. She was tireless, a little stubborn and loyal. Michelle worked hard. She could walk up, work all day, make a dish for a baseball or football potluck, finish a load of laundry, help out with homework, and still find time to watch some Korean drama late at night, and then wake up to do it again the next day. Michelle made a big impact on my life. She will always be my little sister, but as we got older and would talk almost every day, she became even more. In our younger years, anything I would say to her would be unquestioned and considered correct. But as time went by, she started to question things and would challenge, and would challenge me on different topics this little sister was starting to be a bit sassy. And more and more of what she had to contribute made sense. She would keep me on my toes and offer her opinion whenever I asked. And her heart was always in the right place. I was proud of her. Aaron told me how much stronger M Michelle's relationship with God had become over the last year. I know we all miss her incredibly, so I'd like to end with a few words that she would tell me when things were not going her way. And those simple words are, God has something else in store for us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Pat. Pat, thank you so much for sharing those words about your, really your sister and how much she meant to you and to so many others um, in, our, in our life. And um, now I, I would like all of us to sing along and really worship the Lord through 
um, this favorite worship song uh, that Michelle um, would sing. In fact, please sing along and also know that um, uh, Darlene Czech is singing this song and Michelle um, even had a chance to meet uh, this great worship leader, Darlene Czech. And uh, so let's all um, worship the Lord and, God, and, and believe that God will make a way for all of us to eventually see Michelle again. Let's sing. You know, I love it when the Holy Spirit just breathes on a song. It seems right across the earth. The church is singing this song about the nature and the character of our God. So let's sing it together, amen. Thank you for singing along and worshiping 
Jesus, our way maker with us. And um, right now, uh, we'd like uh, to turn the mic over to Pat's daughters as they share a few words really about their auntie. Well, why don't you share? Go ahead. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Scout. Um, and Michelle is my auntie. Um, first, just want to say thank you so much, everyone, for coming together today to honor the life of Auntie Michelle. Um, in this crazy time and world that we're living in, I, it's a true testament to the beautiful person she was, that this many people are gathering via video call to share memories and love for her. Um, so many moments truly come to mind when I think about her and the way she lived her life that I could probably be here talking all day, but don't worry, I am not going to do that. Um, so instead, I wanted to share a, a short poem that I wrote about Auntie Michelle. So, a fiery spirit, a loving hand, a spunky comeback, a powerful stand, a relentless fighter, a friend to us all, a huge source of light, a stature quite small, a shoulder to cry on, a listening ear, a chest for your secrets, a life oh so dear, a cousin and sister, a mother to two, a best friend and wife, a heart tried and true. Gone far too young, days feel far too long, though I must believe that as you look down, you see us, you love us, and for knowing you, we are strong. Hi, everybody. I'm Dylan. Uh, I'm the oldest sister. Um, same thing, there are countless memories that I have with Michelle that I will cherish forever, but um, I, was, I wanted to talk about the last time I saw Michelle. I was uh, in Hawaii for work in February, and I was fortunate enough to see Michelle. She had a million things going on, but of course she made me feel like a priority and she took time out of her busy schedule to come pick me up and take me to one of her favorite spots. And we caught up on life and work and shared all the latest gossip. And I remember she's the one who told me um, where coronavirus started. <laughs> so I heard it straight from the source. Um, we had a long meal and by the end of it, without even hesitating, she bought a dozen cocoa puffs, which amazing, but she bought a dozen of them for me and my crew, people she had never met before, but she wanted them to experience something sweet that the island had to offer. Um, but that's truly like embodies who she was. She was so extremely kind and thoughtful and generous. And that's the legacy she's leaving behind. Um, and I know we're all hurting and we're trying to understand why God would take her so young. Um, but I think the best way we can honor her is by passing down the kindness and generosity that she showed everybody every day. Um, so if that means holding the door for the stranger, hold it. If that means sending a text message to someone you haven't seen in a while, just to tell them that you love them and that they mean the world to you, send it. And if that means buying a dozen Cocoa Puffs just as a kind gesture to someone you may not even know, do it. Um, and live each day like it's your last and love like Auntie Michelle loved each one of us. Thanks, so. Hi, I'm Veda. I am the youngest Reed girl. Um, Auntie Michelle is my godmother. So, you know, grew up with that great role model in my life. Um, in a world that seems so full of darkness and chaos, it's worth remembering the undeniable light that Auntie Michelle was and still is to each one of us. It's clear that through the way she lived her life, she touched all of us in a unique, beautiful way and brought this light into every memory we hold on to so dearly. For me, that light looked like midnight zippies runs. It looked like her taking my Calvi because I love too much meat on the bone. Um, it looked like 3 a.m. trips to Walmart because it is in fact open 24 seven. It looked like many days at the beach. It looked like watching Korean dramas and laughing at the acting. 
it looked like trips to Texas and Colorado for high school and college graduations. I've been looking so forward to Auntie Michelle being there when I walk the stage in May in Colorado, feeling her proud embrace and going to explore Korea with her. But more than anything, this has taught me the value of a moment, a memory, and living fully for each day that we are given. Thank you, Auntie Michelle, for teaching me to be the strong, feisty, sassy, brave young woman that I am today. They say that behind every strong woman are the people that encouraged and taught her along the way. And I know that you, as you look down upon me, that you'll always be in my corner no matter what. Thank you, Dylan, Scout, and Veda for sharing those uh, precious memories and just some uh, precious words uh, for your, for, of your auntie and how she made such a difference in your life and how she will be terribly missed. And now uh, I would like to have um, cousin uh, TJ perform. He will be performing a hula for us. So would you just, um, uh, yeah. Pay attention and enjoy. This melee is in Hawaii, sung by Hoku Zudemeister and choreographed by my Na Kumuhula, Iliahi, and Haunani Paredes. This melee is for you, Auntie Michelle. <laughs> Ika 
forever be with you and to Michelle and your Ohana. Oh, that was beautiful, TJ. Thank you. TJ is actually... Um, Let's see, his mom is first cousins with me and so what we have next is a few people who are going to be um, sharing stories and to Michelle, uh, um, Michelle's stories and the first person that we're going to have to speak right now is Louis Y. Aaron describes him best as a father figure to Michelle. So Louis you're ready all right thank you robin mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> i first met michelle when she was about 19 years old um, i was representing her father the father spoke no English, and we had a workman's compensation hearing, and I had hired a translator, a Korean translator, um, to translate. Uh, and during, during the process, there was this young girl that would help that I hired translate to her father and when we were done uh, when we were done with the first day I, I said do you want to work for me as a translator and I don't remember this but she said she told me no. And there, there, were, there were additional hearings and she would always come and she would translate from English to Korean and back from Korean to English. And I remember telling myself, I said, for someone so young to have so much poise and so much intuitiveness. I said, she's unnatural. So I, I must have asked her again, according to her version, because she said, yes. 
And so I was the lucky one. And the Korean community was very lucky because she was, um, she worked with me for many years and she helped many, many people in the Korean community, not only because of her ability to translate, but because she had, she had a sensitivity about her. Um, I was lucky, I, I, I was lucky to be able to live and work with Michelle every day. Um, um, she tell, she told she 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 tells me she told me many times that many times that I taught her many things. No, that that was not true. She's the one that taught me. Uh, um, for those of, and so in, you know, Pat mentioned earlier about being uh, Michelle was like a sister to her. I know that to be true because. I've known Michelle for so long and Pat was always there and she loved Pat dearly. Um, I, I, I wanna share something about her two sons. Uh, Noah, as most of you know, is now a, uh, in, uh, in Punahou High School um, student. Uh, my, my, one of my grandsons started at Punahou uh, last year, kindergarten and my grandson had the same teacher that Noah had in kindergarten. So the first week that my grandson was at Punahou, Noah, who is a high school student at Punahou, goes to visit Luke's teacher because he wanted Luke to know and she wanted uh, her to know that Luke was part of Noah's family. And how many high school students you, do you know would go back to their elementary school, right? Now, the younger brother, Luke, is probably the most gifted athlete that I have seen um, playing Little League Baseball, playing flag football. Um, Luke was so good that he was actually bumped up to a high, higher age level in flag football. Yeah, um, because they didn't have enough players. Okay. Um, last but not least, um, Aaron. I don't, I don't know. I don't know two people who are married to each other, who are more giving than Aaron and Michelle. I don't ever remember Aaron and Michelle telling me no. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Louis, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing those really beautiful words about Michelle and Aaron and the boys. Thank you. She loved you so. The next person that we want to share right now is Jocelyn Matsuda, and she's actually one of the wee beds. And so let me, Jocelyn, give me a moment so I can spotlight you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What was that? Might be your mic. Uh, Jocelyn, it, it's your mic right now. Your it's mic right now. No, it's good. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay. Aaron, I can see you laughing at me right now. Be nice, doggone it. Jocelyn, do you have two computers in the room? Do you have Zoom open on two different devices? 
just let it go. Just let us speak. If yes, you do, it might be creating a feedback. Just let us speak. Yes. So if you could turn the other one off. We're doing it right now. They're turning it off. So sorry. Michelle, I know you're laughing. I know you must be off, man. Whew. You turn it on? How's that? Is that okay? Is it much better? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. okay. Oh, now it's better? Go for it, Justin. Go for it, Justin. Okay. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jocelyn Matsuda, and I'm dialing in from the Big Island of Hawaii here in North Kohala. I am honored to share with all of you our memories of Michelle on behalf of our oldest friends, the Lee Dads. We all went to McKinley High School together, hung out at the boat whenever we got a chance to, and Michelle was our little sister. And it was not because she was the shortest, but it was because she was literally the youngest. She was one year younger than us. Michelle's passing has affected all of us in many ways. My belief as a, as a Buddhist is in the law of cause and effect. We all have made a cause in our past lives to be, to be able to have met, cared for, laughed with, work with, worship with, and loved our Michelle O. Sagan in this lifetime. How great was that? And Michelle, I chant every day that in our next lifetime, we will see each other again. I would like to share with all of you a short story about Michelle before I read the Real Dad's memories. Last year, we lost our first member of our group. Her name was Adria. Adria's loss affected our group very deeply because as adults, we had lost touch with our friend. And we didn't know that she was sick until it was too late. Michelle was the, was the one first person who reached out to me and told me that we could not let this happen to any of us again. We all need to get connected. As all of you know, Michelle was a loving, loyal person when it came to her friendships. Michelle was fearless. When we all heard that Adria's funeral might have been private. Oh, the internet connection is... Are you guys able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry about that. Yes. Okay, so sorry. Um, Michelle was fearless. When we all heard Adria's funeral might have been private, which means no one, none of us could attend. Michelle was mad. But once we heard our friend's funeral was going to be open to the public, Michelle was the one who ordered the wreath, picked up the cards from our friends, and told me that it, she took it as a sign from God that she needed to go and pay her respects to Adria and her family. That was Michelle. When I say Michelle was fearless, she was, and she was stubborn. At her friend's funeral service, our other friend Jocelyn and I was dismissed by her spouse, meaning he did not want to. He didn't want us to come up to him, and he did this to us. Michelle was a couple of people behind me, so I told her that the spouse did not want us to come up to him. So do not go up to him, and I'll meet you outside. And everybody. Do you guys know what Michelle did? She did the exact opposite of what I told her not to do. Michelle came out of the mortuary, hands on her hips, and was, what the hell was that? And I was like, what did you do? And this is Michelle. I did exactly what you told me not to. I went up to him nicely, okay? And so I asked her what happened. And she went, oh, sh and she asked for a lot of forgiveness after that. But um, he did the same thing to me. 
but why, Josh? And I said, I don't know. And then she said something to me that I'll never forget. She said, you know, if anything was to happen to me, Aaron would never treat you guys like this. And I will make sure of it. Well, Michelle, I want you to, I want to let you know that Aaron, Luke, and Noah listen to you. We were all there with you back in May when you got sick and in between until your journey in this lifetime ended on September 21st, 2020. Your best friend Joyce came from Oregon despite the COVID to be with you. Elsa, our little cousin, was they were both able to get a chance to touch you, pray with you, and share with you all of our love and prayers for your wonderful life. Michelle, because of you, we all became stronger in our faiths, we all became stronger in our friendship, and we all became stronger in loving and keeping your memory alive. We truly miss you, our dumb saying, our little sister. I'm gonna read what Nina wrote on behalf of the Rebounds. Growing up as a kid in the 70s was a groovy time. Growing up as a teenager in the 80s was a total rad time. We had angel flights and velour collared shirts, Dove shorts and Clark Changs, ripped jeans and rocky muscle tees that repped the decades like they were the best. And they were. It also was a spark of a certain magic that was conjuring to bring up to get to bring together a group of kids with such intention. It didn't make sense, except we showed up for each other in times when it mattered to 15 and 16 year old kids. And still, even now as 49, 50 and 51 year old adults, we show up. She showed up in our lives as a cartwheeling, bouncing cheerleader so much energy, too much for some. And still, we wanted her to stay. We in agreement acknowledge her biggest strength, her niele game. Oh, she niele. She had to know the scoops of everything and everyone. And as a teenager, it was eras, meaning irritated. And still, she persisted. And still, we wanted her to stay. Her Niela game met. She cared. She was thoughtful. She was resourceful. And she was hashtag that girl. And still, we wanted her to stay. In the best decade of our lives, the 80s, if you missed the intro, she was a daughter, student, cheerleader, friend, cousin, sister, girlfriend, frenemy, mighty tiger, and leader of an ambitious fire that was born on Kalakaua Avenue, Kalakaua Boulevard, sorry about that. The decades that followed the one that we hold close in our hearts, the 80s, if you missed the intro, will find us on different paths, in different states, in different cities, on different islands, and just like we were at 15 and 16, we showed up for Michelle, Aaron, Noah, and Luke. And we came together in one accord. And we wanted her to stay. So we prayed and we chanted and we turned over new leaves and we loved and we laughed and we did everything we could because we wanted her to stay. And so we had to accept. Accept that. We'll see you at the boat, Michelle. To Aaron, Noah, and Luke. We love you all the way. That isn't easy to describe in words only felt. And so we ask in your lives, can we stay? 
and so be yours the rebound. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, now, the next person that is going to share with us is uh, my Auntie Kim, who is actually Aaron's mom. Um, but she says that she's going to cry too much. And so she's having Kanani, her, uh, let's see, Aaron's niece. This is Adam, her oldest, um, Aaron's oldest brother's daughter, is going to read Auntie. Auntie Kim's words. So go ahead, Kanani. Can you hear me? We can. Okay. Um, so this is something that uh, my grandma wrote um, for uh, Auntie Michelle. She says, uh, Michelle, today we celebrate your life. It wasn't an easy one, but you never let it get you down. You worked hard, and since you married Aaron, you put in long, hard working hours at the district court and Delta Airlines. Why? Because you wanted to get something better for your family. You lost your mom when you were nine years old. She was 50 and passed from a heart problem. Your dad raised you and your brother, and it wasn't easy. Later, you lived with your cousin Pat's family in Palisades Pro City. You also lived with Pat's mom till she passed away. That's why you and Pat were so close. He was always there for you. Uh, for you, family was very important. And because of your hardships growing up, you set goals to make it possible for Noah and Luke to never have to go through what you had to do. You helped me a lot and you always bought things for me, things I wouldn't buy for myself. Everywhere I look are reminders of you. In my kitchen, mats to stand on. Two of them that says grandma's kitchen. One says kitchen queen. The dish drainer, not the cheap plastic ones, but the more costly and fancy ones made of metal. Stands to place my potted plants in the kitchen window and large beautiful plastic glasses. When she found out plastic wasn't safe, she bought me glass glasses. In the dining room is the china hutch and in the living room, a larger room divider unit. Those were from Pat's mom after she passed. You also bought me all the shampoo and conditioner from your friend Joyce who, has a, or who was a beautician. For my birthday and holidays, you bought me handbags comforters, too many to name. We also went to different Korean restaurants where you knew all of the owners and we got to eat the best Korean food. Every time I look around my house, I am reminded of you and all the wonderful things and love that you shared with me and dad. I miss you, Michelle, so much, but I am glad you are no longer suffering and at peace with the Lord and our family in heaven. Know that you will always hold a special place in my heart for all you did for my son, my grandsons, and myself. I love you, Mom. Oh, thank you, Auntie Kim, for sharing those stories with us. We know you miss her so much as we all do. And Kanani, thank you for reading for her. The last person that we have to share um, right now is our cousin, mine, uh, mine and Aaron's cousin, Stacy. We're first cousins. Stacy is the daughter of Auntie Kim's, let's see, uh, third youngest. I don't know where Auntie Lillian is, but Auntie, Auntie Lillian's daughter. So Stacy, you ready, sister? Here you go. I am. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Robin. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stacy Pagan Purcell. Um, my mom and dad is Joseph Pagan. He's passed away 40 years ago. And my mom is Lily, and she's with my husband, Tim, on the other side of the wall here. And I'm dialing in from Las Vegas. First of all, so important to thank my cousin, Robin Maganeris and Pat Reed, who were there every step of the way in the hospital, 
and representing all of us and driving everything to help with the family, with for Aaron and family. Thank you for everything and representing us. Love you both. And Pat, just so you know, Michelle thought the world of you. I'm sure you know that. But she kept telling me over and over again how close you both were. And she just absolutely adored you. I just wanted you to know that. Shout out to my cousin, Aaron. I love you. Noah, Luki, and to our aunties, Auntie Kim Sagan, Auntie Pulani Irimoto, Auntie Elizabeth Flores, my mom, Lillian Pagan, Pagan, Auntie Bert Drayson. Great to see you. We don't get to see you. I love you and God bless you all. And aloha to Michelle's family. All right, here we go. So the story I want to share takes place at my Uncle Adam's Sagan's funeral, his celebration of life. I was co-eulogist with my cousin Robin Meganaris, who was telling everyone on the mic that she was the favorite niece to Uncle Adam. And we were taking pictures. We got through it all. It was a beautiful celebration. That's where you saw Michelle and, and Aaron dancing earlier. We were taking pictures of all the family, the cousins. And then Michelle walked up to me and whispered in my ear when we were taking pictures and said, I just want you to know that you are the favorite to Uncle Adam, just to make me feel good, even though it may not have been true. But that was her. She made us always, everybody feel so special. She had that gift to make everyone feel at ease and welcome and, and comfortable. Well, after the funeral, the story gets, takes a turn. We went to Auntie Kim's home to continue the celebration and we started pouring mimosas. And the laughter and voices started to carry throughout the house and things got a little out of hand. And we had one too many cocktails, well, not Michelle, but it was really me, Robin, Megan Harris, my cousin, Sh Shannon Alouetta. And I think Pat, you were there too, I can't remember um, on the patio, but I don't, for once Michelle was an innocent bystander. I ended up dropping my cell phone on the patio cement and it cracked my screen. And I had never done that before. My phone was the exact phone I, I had bought from day one. Well, now it was over, party over. And afterwards I felt bad because we were misbehaving. And I asked Michelle if she thought we were acting badly. And she said, no, Stace, you're so perfect. And I knew she was just trying to make me feel good. We were terrible, but you see how nice she was no matter what you did. She always found the good in you. She never told you anything bad. And that was her spirit. I considered her one of my favorite cousins after then. Well, I always did. And one of my good friends. Michelle had many gifts and she shared everything she had. She took all of us to her favorite Korean food. She shared her food, she shared her home, she shared her family. And Michelle was one of those cousins who made time for all of us, no matter what was going on, how busy she was working, her two jobs. Anytime we were on Oahu, she came. And in Las Vegas, we never missed a chance to see each other. We made time. The last time I was on Oahu was back in September of 2019. And I stayed at their house, Erin and Michelle's. She hosted me, my daughter and Sydney and her fiance, Casey, as Casey had never been to Hawaii. And it was so special. On, on my last night, she and my cousin Colleen took me to Hawaiian food dinner because I kept saying, I really want to eat squid luau. And they took me to this place, and I can't remember the name, but it's by Ala Moana. We, we both ordered the same thing. All of us went, Aaron, Noah, Luke, Colleen, David, we all ordered. And Michelle and I sat across from each other, and we kept looking at each other's food like our eyes are bigger than our stomach. Well, not me, I ate all my food. And she ended up looking at me and go, you want my hapia? And I said, yes, I do. And she gave it to me after I ate all of mine. And she said, you want my squid luau too? I'm like, sure. She just gave all her stuff away. And I just knew she was hungry, but she gave it to me because I was gonna leave that night. And she wanted me to be prepared for that long ride back on the airplane, no food, no snacks straight back to Las Vegas. That was the best meal I had in a long time. And just the company, because she and I could talk on the phone for hours. You know, who does that anymore? But we did, we talked on the phone, she texted me 
And between the cousins, she was the one that really kept everybody in touch and connected. Even though I was, I'm almost 20 years older than her, I felt we had so much in common because we love to eat and we ate a lot of snacks, but mostly Korean food. She and I are both sassy. She and I are both short. We're both cheerleaders of life. And she, she was a fighter. She never took no for an answer. I love to see her when she had the fire in her. She was beautiful and just fun to watch. I just wanna say that it is an honor to celebrate you, Michelle. Thank you, Erin, for bringing her into our lives. She will always be our cousin. And she is an angel now with her wings soar soaring in heaven. And she's watching over all of us, especially you, Erin, Noah, Luki. I will promise to keep her memory alive forever. I will say her name every day, I promise. And I just wanted to thank again, Robin and Pat for this beautiful ceremony. God bless everyone. Thanks, Stace. Thanks, Kaza. All right, so everyone, what we wanna do next with you all is we know that there's more stories out there and this time really is about connecting us all to one another. And so what we're gonna do is put you into what's called the Zoom breakout room. We're gonna spread you out and put you into your own rooms with other people. And when you get into the other room with other people, introduce yourself, say how, you're, how you know Michelle or Aaron and just talk story. Like we just talk story and tell story. Say you go like this, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Michelle's cousin, I'm Robin. And I'll go first, I'll tell the story about her and just do like that, okay? And just go around the room and then share. Uh, you, for some of you who are shy, get over it. This is your time to, you know, celebrate Michelle. So let's do that together, okay? Uh, for those of you who are new to the breakout rooms, once I open them, you'll automatically go to that breakout room. If you don't automatically go to the breakout room, there might be a blue button that says join, click that and you'll go. You'll stay in that room with other people will slowly start to join you. And then when it's time to come back, I will pull you all back so you don't have to do anything. Sometimes what happens when breakout rooms are created and um, you get bumped out of Zoom. And if that happens to you, just log back in and come back to us, okay? And then I will put you in a room, all right? So I really hope this is a time that uh, you, can, uh, you can enjoy um, one another, all right? So here we go. We'll do this for about 10 minutes or so. All right, um, here we go, everyone. So those of you who haven't gone yet, don't hit the uh, hit the join button so that you can you can head on your way. Uh, um, Emerson, I had thought I sent it set it up so that everyone would automatically go, but it looks like I didn't do that correctly. Any tips? Emerson, Emerson, where are you? Did you send them off in a group? Oh, did, oh, maybe he went, okay. Yeah, I didn't, but he might have. I know, I know, I'm glad you didn't. The rest of you, hit the join button. Hit the join button, go, go. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna start a sign. Five, five, go, move, go, go. There we go, hit the join, hit the button. Hit the button. I still got a bunch of people who are still here. 
All right. Those of you who didn't go to your assigned rooms, now you're here with me. So raise your hand and say, share a story for Michelle. Otherwise it's gonna be boring. Just me and you. Somebody come off of mute. Okay, maybe I'm gonna choose some people then. Let's see. Let's see. Daniel, you got a story? Hit the join button. Go to your go to your room. Daniel, you got a story you want to sit, share? Christine, are you able to manage breakout rooms? No. Okay. Um, you stay here. I'm gonna pop into another room and see how see what's happening into the other rooms and see what's happening okay okay sounds good or maybe i'm not i don't want to mess it up anybody here want it lori how about you brandon do you want to share a story come on somebody oh lori yay off of you Hi, Go everyone <laughs> i didn't see um the other groups were talking. I don't know if they're not turning on the mute or off the mute, but I just want to thank Robin and Pat for all your messenger messages for Michelle, all the great updates, all of this being put together. Um, I'm out here in Arizona. I am one of the McKinley Wee Bads and I was on the cheer team with Michelle, our mighty, mighty Michelle. I was last with her in February. She was busy, busy with the boys at the Punahou event. I was in Waikiki visiting my mother and she took the time out to come visit. And it was late in the night. It was like, we didn't want to say goodbye. And not knowing that that was our last goodbye, I really, really treasure that time together. So God bless you all. We'll keep our memory alive. Aaron, Luke and Noah, I wish you the very best. These are her days ahead but it looks like you have plenty of people in your corner to lift you up and give you love and support. If there's anything I can do, I'm far away, but if you wanna to come to Arizona and visit and hope to see you when I visit Hawaii, and I am just very honored to be here today, but also it is a blessing that she has all these people in her life. And Aaron, Noah, and Luke, love you and wish you always happiness. Thanks, Laurie. Anybody else in this room? Oh, okay. I'm gonna jump into another room because someone asked for help. Uh, Christine, encourage people to talk. Uh, hello, can you guys hear me? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Hi. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I was having some issues. So I was in a group and then I had to get back in. So uh, I guess I'm in <laughs> this group now. Uh, my name is Nicole, I'm um, actually um, Michelle's niece and um, it it's it's been shocking you know losing her and, and finding out you know when she got had the stroke and all of that um, I haven't I, I live in Seattle right now um, so I've been away from home for a long time but we we're still sending um, Christmas cards and it was always fun to see every year the boys getting older um, Auntie Michelle was always so sweet and Uncle Aaron I honestly can't think of a nicer, uh, more generous family member, couple. I mean, they were always so sweet, um, you know, asking me if I wanted to stay with them. Um, I remember as a kid always being, because Auntie Michelle was so um, outspoken and loud, I was always very shy and quiet. And so I used to be kind of scared and timid around her and just wanted her to you know, <laughs> like me, I remember she had a, a bunch of, um, I think it was like Hello Kitty and 
uh, all kinds of Sanrio stuff in her room. I just remember as a kid thinking that she was the coolest auntie and uh, you know, it's she's always been such a wonderful, caring person and um, the, it's not the same without her. So we, we really miss her. Um, we've been thinking a lot about you, Uncle Aaron and Noah and Luke. Um, you know, we're far, but if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, hopefully once all this COVID business is, is over, we'll be able to visit again and um, see how you guys are doing. Thanks everybody. Anybody else want to share? Oh, yeah. I'm back. Were you guys talking while I was gone? There was one person. Oh, that's a little bit. <laughs> so, anybody else want to share something? Jocelyn, don't worry. I'm trying to move you. You know, I'm going to move you. No worries. All good. Oh, I don't know how. Jocelyn, just stay here with us. I'm sorry. Anybody else got stories? We got like three more minutes and then we're going to bring everybody back. <laughs> I'd just like to add from what Nicole mentioned. Nicole mentioned. Hi, Mari. I've kept them all, even in the days before the boys when she would dress up her dogs and send those Christmas greetings out to everybody. And uh, that was one thing that's very special and she was very consistent with. Uh, we share uh, those are the things I'll remember most about Michelle. I remember those dog pictures. Uh, the the uh, I can't remember the dog's names right now, but them all the peanut and another one, the yeah, two yeah, little white ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Pictures uh, in in the Porsches too. They had pictures of them um, in the Porsche one year. Oh yeah. But we need to find those. I don't know where they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look, Alan is in the room. Alan, you guys see Alan over here? Alan is Aaron. Let me let me spot him for everybody. Sorry, cousin. That this is Aaron's um brother, one above him. Aaron, How's Aaron, it, everybody? Alan, you got any stories for us about Michelle? Oh, I'll get plenty of stories, but you know. Okay, um, one minute, so make it short. I've been from Alan. Yeah, so they were up here, I think it was last year, they came and visit us up at the ranch uh, here in Oregon. And you know what, the, everything that comes to mind about Michelle is, girl is so tiny, I see so much. We go to the restaurant, and Luke, Noah, Aaron, and we were ordering, and Michelle's like, oh, I have this, and this, and this, and this, and... Yeah, that too, and the other thing. I was looking at her and saying, bro, wife, she's about this tall, and she did eat. <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, hey, order everything in the ranch. It's all good. But it's so funny because, you know, she always wanted to make sure that the, the boys were fed, Aaron was fed, and that everybody else around always had a lot of food and a lot of love to go around. Oh. And I miss that girl. You know, I, I, I sit here and talk to Mindy and when this whole thing started, and I just feel for the boys, and I miss Michelle. And I was looking forward for them coming back and visit us at the ranch again, taking them on horse rides, and getting them to look at the canyon and fish, and be somewhere where a different type of beauty, where we bring the other spirit into Oregon, and having them come up and visit them. You know, hanging with my friends here. So that's one thing that we just miss. Because I'm not home, and that's the hardest part about it. And I wish I, 
I wish I was there with Runner and the Bulls. Thank you. Thanks, cousin. Right, let's pick that room's closing. So people are going to be coming back in like 13 seconds. And then Noah's going to talk and share with us his stories, which also means, Christine, we got to find Aaron's, find Aaron's um, thumbnail so that we can repin him. Okay. Oh, it sounds like they're being loud downstairs. Okay. Not everybody is back. Why not? Oh, there they are. Oh, they're pinned automatically. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Look at, look at you, crazy boy. Um, welcome back, everyone. Thank you. I'm hoping that you got to connect with other people and talk story with them and to, you know, just learn more and love more on Michelle. So Noah, you ready, buddy? It's you, honey. And Luki, get ready. Hello. Oh, there. Can you guys hear me? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, hold on for one second. Everyone, if you could take a look and make sure that you're muted right now, can you? Can you do that really fast before Noah talks so that we can be, we can listen to him? Okay. There we go. Go ahead, Noah. Okay. So I have something. Um, so I was just say, dear mom, thank you for always being there, my, being one of my biggest supporters throughout everything in my life, through all my sports, Luke's baseball, and everything we have done. Um, even though we used to get to a lot of verbal fights. You were always the first to apologize to me. You would always come and hug me late at night, wake me up and tell me you're sorry. You were always the first person to tell me what to do when I was in a sticky situation. And you were always there for me and there for all of us. Everybody here in this room, in these rooms are online. They all have a memory of you, that you were always there for them. Everybody here in this room, we all have a memory when you were there for them. And we always love you and you'll never forget our minds. You'll always be you'll always be with us no matter where we are in the world. We love you, Mom. Great, Noah. Noah, you also were telling Auntie, you know, stories about your fun memories, the things you used to love doing with her. So come on, do we talk about that? When there was times, like Uncle Pat said, Black Friday shopping. <laughs> And I used to be the little boy who could fit in between the cracks and crevices of people. I'm not a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I see keyword used to. Okay. okay. But yeah, I would find everything that I needed to find mm -hmm. and it would be fun. Or we would stay at home, drink tea and watch Korean dramas. That was something I got to do recently and I wish I could do a lot more. But as life goes on, we are still here and I have so much more family I can do things with. Love you, Luke. Love you, Noah. That's very good. All right. Hey, my Lukey. Yep, hey, you're everybody. Okay. okay. I'll say something. Okay. Uh, I love you, Mom, and hope you're, hopefully you're up in heaven and enjoying your time with Grandpa, your mom, everybody in that past, and yeah. I, I never really practiced this. I didn't know I was going to talk, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Luffy. All right. Um, the last thing that we wanted to do with you all before we close this out was for us to create what's a word, um, a word art together that's all about Michelle. So I'm going to share my screen, and this is going to require people to type to type things, but to uh, to um, just do a little bit of typing. So. 
the question at hand is what two words best describe Michelle? And how you are going to do that is you can either um, you can either take your camera on your iPhone and open up the camera. Okay, so let me show you this. Okay, hold on, hold on. So you open up your camera. So just so that it looks like this, and then you point your camera right over the QR code that you can see here. And then it'll open it up and it'll ask you to answer question and to type in the two words. It's all about Michelle. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to dump this into the chat so that you guys can um, click on the chat link and type in words for Michelle. So two words, two words, people that best describe Michelle. Hey. Nobody's doing it yet. Why not? Come on, people. Can you do the, show the QAR code again? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So here we go. Oh, there we go. It's coming. It's coming. So there's a QR code. I wait. Now we can't see though. So grab it if you need it right now. Quick, people. Quick. Okay, and then I'm going to put it down so we can watch this all grow. Oh, feisty, loving, spunky, fun. You'll see the words that are the biggest are the ones that people are writing over and over again. Beautiful. Put it, put it in this link here. So you gotta click on the, click on this. Actually, uh, um, Christine, are you able to, if people put it in the chat, dump it into the, into the mentee yes. for them. Yeah, I can. If they put in there. Sure. So I, I actually. There we go. Then what we'll do is we'll turn this into. Um, we'll turn it into a word art to have here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kelsey, can you remove that image? I mean, the, the cursor drag. Oh, caring, generous, thoughtful, kind, spunky, caring, giving. Yep, this is our Michelle. Anybody got some more words? Keep up, keep putting them in, people. Ooh, loving find that character. Yeah, Rascal. I like Rascal. Where's Rascal? Put it into the mint. Strong. Oh, so much. So true on the strong. Okay. So while as this goes on, just continue to put things into the mentee and it'll continue to grow and then we'll be able to um, have this for Luke and for Noah. So the next thing that we wanted to do was to, oh, I see Aaron's missing. We were gonna turn this over to Aaron, but he seems to be gone. Pat, where is he? One moment, one moment, okay. Okay, move, Lukey. Luke, move. He's good now. Um, it's been um, it's been a crazy five months. I gotta give you that. Um, I have a lot of thank yous to say. I have a lot of um memories to pass on. Um, I love each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for um, just being a part of our lives. I um, I, I don't know what to say, actually, but um, I do know how to pray. So I'd like everyone to 
bow their heads and let's pray real quick. Amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, God, I thank you so much for all these angels that you've placed in my life. These five months, Father, have been so crazy. It's been such a roller coaster. And you've placed these people in my life as angels. And I truly, truly love each and every one of them. Father God, you have blessed me with people in my life that would call me at the right time, that would speak to me softly, that would speak to me loudly, that would touch my heart when I needed to be touched. Father, you bless me with Michelle. For these 23 years of marriage and then some, Father. Father God, I am in awe of you. Yes, it hurts, Father. Yes, I give my worries to you. Yes, you are my all in all. But Michelle was my my best friend, my lover, the one I could share everything with. You granted us two loving sons. A wonderful family, Father. And I truly love you. I pray that you would be comforting everyone here today, Father. That you would comfort my friends, my family, my angels that look upon me and the boys. Father God, you reign supreme in our lives. You comfort me when I need comfort. You feel that hole in my heart, Father God, that only you can fill. And um, I thank you for that. Father, I pray that you would um, bless these angels, Father. Bless these angels in all they do in your life. For as they think of someone, they have the courage to call that person. As they think of, or a person pops in their head, Father God, that they would have the courage to pick up the phone and dial that number. Father God, you are amazing. You are the miracle worker in our lives. And you are amazing. And I truly love you. I thank you for all that you've done for me, the boys, Michelle, and everyone in our lives, Father God. You have so graciously blessed us abundantly, Father God. I love you, Father, and I thank you for all these people in my lives, for they are truly your angels that you have sent to comfort me and my family and to fill that hole in our hearts. I love you, Lord. In the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray to you. Amen. Amen. Wow, thank you, Aaron, for um, just tying us back to um, our Heavenly Father and to know that we who share your faith, Aaron, and also Michelle's, that one day we'll see each other again. So for us who believe in Jesus, it's always a hui ho until we see each other again. And so thank you so much for um, celebrating uh, Michelle's life and uh, being such a difference maker um, in her life and just being, you know, a part of um, this time where we could uh, honor again her memory. So thank you again for all. And I want to encourage you, for those of you who may have not come uh, from the start, there is an amazing slideshow um, that was put together together of all um, these key people. And uh, if you could stick around and watch that, that would be great. And uh, let's continue to um, just uh, remember 
the good times that we've had. And uh, thank God again for um, all these um, memories we have. So thanks again, Robin. Thank you so much for all you have done, Pat, all you have done to um, bring the family together and organize this uh, memorial, this celebration of life service. So to everyone, aloha. So the slideshow will play for those of you who want to. And for those of you who are moving on, have a beautiful rest of the day. Enjoy the day together. Reach out, love other people. Um, it, shortly, we'll be sending out links to all the slideshows and everything. If you st if you want to watch all this stuff at a later time, it'll come in an update to you to to you all. So let me put the slideshow up one more time. And here we go. Shout out again to Christine Jones who did this for us. Oh, hold on. Let me share. Is it not making sound now? There we go. What's I happening? You. The, the YouTube video is muted. What? Okay, hold on. I see that there. Come on, YouTube video. Uh-oh, now we're getting crazy here. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Let me try this again. <sighs> Nothing is ever easy. Come on now, Jesus. Help us out here. You you got, are, I, thanks, baby. There we go. Okay, yeah. here we go. We cannot see. I know, I know. I'm I, I'm gonna do it. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Maybe this is not meant to be. Is that what you're? What? 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 Why? There we go. Enjoy. Enjoy, everybody. Enjoy. Thank 
keep in the sky I also want the faces of people passing by I see friends shaking and singing How do you do? They really sing I, I love you I hear babies cry and I watch them go They'll learn much more than we'll know And I think to myself What a wonderful world World Someday I wish upon a star Wake up with the clouds are far behind Me Will travel melts like a lemon drops High above the chimney top That's where You'll find me
with in my life There was an emptiness in me I was imprisoned by the power of gold With one kind touch you set me free Let the world stop burning Let the sun stop burning Let them tell me love's not worth going through If it all falls apart I will know deep in my heart The only dream that mattered had come true I was loved by you For every mountain I've Hold on for one second. Hold on. Ah, quick, turn it off. <laughs> it's the music I'm dancing. Oh, the Stop the share. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, um. If, if you guys are all still there, um, we are just going to hang out at the house. Oh, we are um, we're going to hang out here at the house. If you guys want to join us, you're more than welcome to come. I'm pretty sure that we're going to hang out. Hey, what is he doing? Uh, hang out. I love you guys. Thank you. Sorry. 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 Calm down. Oh, Kind of too late, Auntie. Thank you.
All right. So thank you, everybody. Hey, Christine, huge, huge shout out to you. Thank you. This would not have been as amazing and beautiful without what you did for us. So thank you. The slideshow is amazing. All right. So the rest of you go forth. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. See y'all later. Bye bye. Huh? Looky, you're not.